Hello there, this is Darren Birchall from PrimaryScienceWorkshops.co.uk and I'm here to show you a little experiment I've been setting up for my Space and My Forces Key Stage 2 workshops. Um, what we've got here is a vacuum chamber which I already use in the workshops. We do things such as uh, playing a bell in it and reducing the air in the chamber to show pupils that sound travels through air so in other words the sound just goes off, you might have heard of that one before. Um, we also do things like putting a marshmallow on it to see what would happen if you removed your space suit in space, of course it expands. And we do all sorts of things like that but I've been after doing this for a long time and it took a little bit of working out. It looks like some crazed invention but when I explain it it might make more sense. So basically we've got a little hinge at the top here which swings down when I take this off here like this so of course any objects I place on either side will both drop at, uh, at the identical time because that is level. Um, the objects I've got are a marble and a feather and the purpose of this little experiment is to show what happens if you actually remove the air from a gravity field such as on the moon um, and to show pupils that really what should happen is because the force of gravity is the same on everything they should hit the ground at the same time so that's the purpose of the experiment I just need to set it up so I'm going to pause it a second just while I get the first one set up okay there we are so we're fully loaded here's the first one we've got the marble on this side and we've got the feather on this side. I hope it doesn't get caught. I've had a few outtakes where it keeps getting caught on the hinge. Um, but basically, you can see it's dead simple. I just pull these neodymium magnets, which are really strong magnets, off, and it just drops it. So I'm just going to show you this first one. Now, this is with the air still in the chamber. So we've not removed it yet. We've not pumped it out. Let's see what happens. I'm sure you can predict what's going to happen. Three, two, one. There you go. So that was quite noticeable there. Uh, the feather obviously fell uh, slower because the air is getting trapped inside it. So now we're going to try it with um, a vacuum. So I'm going to pause it and just reset up. And you might hear the noise of the pump when it comes on. It's very noisy. So just hang on. Okay, so the pump's whizzing away here. And this is sucking all the air out of the jar. Um, as you can see here, if I lift it, we've got a good suction there. I'll hear the noise of the pump change in a second, which will tell me that... It's got, there it's got, it's just changing now, which will tell me that it's got a good vacuum. And it's pretty much reached the maximum vacuum. You can see the bottle moving, which is quite strange. Um, so, I'm going to turn it off now and see if we've got a good vacuum to try this experiment. Alright, so, hopefully, well, I'll tell you what, you make a prediction before I do it. So there's no air in there now, and let's see if you're correct with your prediction. Three, two, one. There you go. So I hope you predicted it correct. As you can uh, see, they both hit the ground at the same time, which is what happens with falling objects in gravity field if there's no air, because gravity, believe it or not, is the same on this object as it is on this object. Um, okay, so that's the sort of thing you can expect in my uh, workshop. I've got all sorts of other things we put in here, like I think I mentioned it before, we put marshmallows in and bells in and stuff like that. So it's a really cool uh, part of the workshop. So if you're interested in booking, uh, please let me know. My uh, web address, as I said before, is primarysciencesworkshops.co.uk. Okay, thank you.